Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this training video that's going to show you how to make an infographic using a wonderful website that I use very often called Canva. My name is Mike Paul. I'll be walking you through this module so that you can create infographics for your class or your students are of course more than welcome to use this video so they can make infographics for any of their work as well. So the place we're going to go first is a website called canva.com. So you can direct your web browser here to canva.com. Uh, Canva is a web-based service <clears throat> that allows you to make graphics in all sorts of different sizes and for different websites and in just a little bit I'll get into um, how to choose those sizes and whatnot uh, that you can use um, in your work uh, for all sorts of different uh, social media sites, uh, different uh, marketing things. If you're doing a marketing campaign uh, for your school or you're just making graphics for your school or you're making documents, newsletters, anything like that. A lot of stuff you can make in Canva. But to get started, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Canva first. Now, it's great when you go to canva.com if you have a Facebook account or, as I'm sure many of you do, uh, especially in the state of Kentucky, if you're an educator, you probably have a Google account. So you can go ahead and click that orange button and sign up with Google uh, and get started. You'll just need your Google email account, um, which is, of course, for many of us, is our school email account. And your students can use the same thing. Uh, I already have an account with Canva, so I'm just going to log in here and just show you what the interface looks like when you log in very quickly. And we'll get started after that. So we're logging in here to the main Canva design screen. Uh, and as you can see, I, I have lots of designs uh, and my wife uses this too for things she does. Um, and this is just what you're looking at here is just an overview of some of the things that I've designed. Um, and uh, it's to, Canva stores them all for you. You can go back and change them later, uh, add more to them, change them, download them, and we'll get into all those things here in just a moment. But that's how you simply sign up with Canva. You just need a Facebook account, uh, a Google account, or you can use your own personal email to get started with Canva. Now, once you've gotten logged into your Canva account, the next thing you're going to do is Canva makes it super easy to start a design. You just need to pick a template uh, to start with, and those templates are all laid out, as you can see here, by different size images. And if we click the More button, wow, the options that you get uh, are pretty amazing. So we've got Facebook posts, Twitter posts, Instagram posts, social media, Pinterest graphic, social graphic. Those are all wonderful and great, but specifically for us, we're looking for the infographic template. And we're going to scroll down here and to, to the blogging and ebook section. Uh, and again, once you learn how to use Canva, there's lots of other ways you can use this. Uh, but here's the infographic template, which it's just set to a size of 800 pixels by 2,000 pixels. Uh, and since that's what we're going to use, we're just going to click on that design. Oh, sorry, I opened up my dictionary for some reason. And Canva will think for a minute and it'll get our design uh, templates loaded in for that infographic template. Uh, and Canva has dozens and dozens of templates already installed. Uh, a lot of them are free for you to use. Um, or if they're not free, they're very low cost, like most things in Canva cost a dollar. Uh, for you to be able to use them, but many of their templates are free for you to use um, without uh, doing anything at all. So we're just going to scroll through here, and here's all the templates on the left-hand side that Canva has created for use with infographics. Of course, you can also design your own if you're very comfortable with that. That is outside the scope of this video training. Um, we're just going to use one of these templates and I'm just going to pick one. Here's one. Oh, a human's guide to introversion. All of us that like to make videos, we're, we're introverts. Uh, so we're going to pick uh, their guide to introversion here and that's just going to be our template. Uh, and we can now use that template to start making changes, editing. We can change uh, the fonts. We can change background colors. We can add images. All sorts of great things we can do using uh, the Canva templates and we've already got a great start towards a fantastic looking infographic for any project you might want to do. All right, now that we've chosen our design template for the infographic, we're ready to start making some edits to this and we're gonna start by changing uh, some text uh, or adding some text and changing fonts. So we have this nice template 
and we can just really whatever text you're using you can just go in and change uh, each one of these different text items uh, I'm gonna zoom in here canva has a handy zoom tool down at the bottom right we're gonna zoom in here and get to this um, top part of the infographic now if I want to change existing text that's there uh, I can select and just double click inside you can see where this cell has become highlighted uh, and I can just type and Canva will automatically resize the font to fit inside the text box again you can change the size of these boxes you'll see these little hand grab handles on each corner I can make this smaller uh, or larger depending upon how, whatever your design is again that's uh, up to you um, this happens to be a group of text boxes we won't cover grouping in this tutorial that will come in the future uh, that's also a very effective tool to use in Canva for your design but if I wanted to add uh, more text to this document for whatever reason I would simply move over here to the left hand side of the Canva design tool and then the text option um, I can add a heading I can add a subheading I can add a little bit of body text just like they said I can add a little bit of body text uh, they even have some pre-formatted um, text designs if you will text groupings that you could put into your design but I'm just going to for sake of demonstration we'll add a bit of body text and you click that and it goes right into the body of the design and you can move that text box this text box is very similar to what you get if you're using word art in word uh, or designing things if you uh, have any experience with Microsoft Publisher or um, Apple's pages or even Google Slides uh, you can move your text box basically anywhere you want and resize it once I have that in there and I'm going to just simply remove this text box there's a handy trash can up here in the right hand corner so if I do add something and want to remove it later it's just a simple click of the mouse and that's out but let's say that I wanted to change the font of this text that I typed in earlier I would select the text that I want to change and here at the top right above the template itself there is a toolbar with lots of options for you and on the left of that are all the fonts that are installed in Canva now of note if you do pay for a Canva premium account it's about fifteen dollars a month you can add your own fonts if you have fonts that you own and you happen to be a font snob like me and you want to use your own fonts you can do that but you do have to pay for the premium account um, certainly not necessary Canva has many many fonts that you could use and choose from that will satisfy most any design need that you might have but I'm going to change this to this font which is a Montserrat light currently to the architect's daughter just to see what that looks like and maybe I like that maybe I don't if I do I can keep it if not I can always go back and change it at any point in time the beauty of Canva is I get to see it on the graphic before I save it before I download it uh, Canva is very similar to Google Docs and other Google tools uh, and some lots of other online tools now that audit that save as they go before I would ever download or share this document you'll see here that I have unsaved changes but as soon as I click the share button the design is saved and I'm ready to move on and it's stored in Canva I can download it anytime I want to so that's how you can get started using different types of fonts again you can just choose any text box you like in your design that has been loaded from Canva and select any text you want to change you can add or delete text as you like Canva will resize the text boxes as you're typing to fit in the area and again beware that your design may change based upon how much text you're typing in so it's a good idea to take a look at the amount of text that may be in the template already and try to tailor your text to fit about the same size be about the same amount of words of course you may have a little bit fewer a little bit more and you may need to tweak your design or move things around a little bit perhaps make your text a little smaller you can do that as well if you highlight the text here uh, right next to the font selection there is a font size and you can certainly change that to different sizes to make it smaller or larger or if you know exactly what size type font you want you can just type that into the font size box and you can do it.
to whatever size will fit your needs. You can also change the color of your fonts. I know this is a black and white themed infographic, but let's say I wanted to add a bit of red into this. I could just select the text, click on this color wheel option, even though it's a square, color square, I guess, and I can choose from many different colors. I can even make a custom color by clicking on this plus button and I have the entire color wheel and I can make the changes that I see fit. Again, of note, if you have a paid Canva account, you can add your own custom colors and save them and they would become your brand colors that you can reference over and over again. Again, that's a premium feature, not in the free version of Canva. And Canva is free to use uh, unless you pay for the premium version. You do get some perks with the premium version that may come in handy if you use the tool a lot. If you don't use it very often, by all means, the free tool is fantastic and will let you design many, many wonderful things much easier than while trying to learn Photoshop or some other design programs and with the added benefit of you can access these designs from anywhere. So that's how we can manipulate text in Canva, changing the font, adding fonts, changing text colors, changing font size, um, lots of different things you can do with the text inside of a Canva image. Now for our last section here on creating your infographic with Canva, we're going to look at how you might add images to your document, to your template uh, that will match whatever project you're working on, and then how you can download or share your image from Canva and use it however you need to, whether you need it as an image or you need to download a PDF, or perhaps you need to share it on a website. So if you would like to add an image, you can see this template has some images, some uh, illustrations in it already. Perhaps they don't fit with what your template, your theme for your infographic is, is going to be. They might. Um, also, it may be that these images, as you can see, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but there is a, a bit of hatching drawn over top of this image. That's one of those paid images that I told you about earlier in this training with Canva, and you would have to pay to use that image. And maybe there's another image you'd like to use rather than that one you need one that fits your theme. Uh, in Canva, all you need to do is you can go over here and click on the elements option. And there are all sorts of things that you can add to your design. The easiest way to find what you're looking for is simply to use this search function at the top. And I'll just search party since this is a infographic from the not so antisocial party as we changed it last time. So we have all sorts of images that come up with party and these may be graphics, these may be illustrations, they may be images, anything that is in the Canva database that is tagged with party, you can add those. And once you find something you like, uh, I'm gonna add this little monkey just because why not? Uh, you can simply click on that and drag it over into your design. And as you can see, the control handles come up and you can resize the monkey to whatever size you need him to be to fit in your design. I'm going to make him small enough to where he just fits right up here at the top. And there's our little monkey friend inserted into this infographic. Now, you can use your own images as well. Uh, you can upload images to Canva. You have, I believe, unlimited storage for your images. Um, and I'm going to add in one uh, that I just added the other day. Uh, this is a presenter badge for EdTech team. I'm going to just click and drag that into my document just to show you um, how you could add your own images. There's a button here to upload your own images. Uh, please, just a reminder, any images that you're using, please make sure that you own the images or you have the rights to use them. Uh, either by creating them yourself or buying them or using a website like iStockPhoto.com or Unsplash, which both those sites have images that are under a Creative Commons Zero license. They're free for anyone to use without having to offer any type of credit whatsoever. Use them as much as you like. Don't just go to Google Images and start downloading images. That's not good for anybody. But you can add your own images very quickly to Canva. It's very simple. And then once they're in there, you can resize them, make them bigger or larger, depending on your needs 
and the size of your template. Once you're happy with your document, you can then either share or download the document. Now, another feature you may be interested in, you can also now order prints of your document through Canva. I haven't done that yet. Maybe something you're interested in if you are using this for different projects. But if I want to download the image, I just simply click the download button and Canva is going to ask me what file type I want to download. I can either download as a traditional JPEG image, a PNG image, it's portable network graphics. That's great for the web. Uh, or you can do a standard PDF or you can even get a very high quality print PDF. And they have a new feature where you can even make your own animated GIF. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. We're just going to choose the standard PNG. We might be using this for a website yes for those of you who are really fancy you can make your pngs have a transparent background if you're not sure what that is that's out the side the scope of this training we'll cover that later but once i have my file type selected i just click download and i get a little message it's downloading yes because this one had some premium elements uh, canvas wanting me to pay for them i didn't take those out uh, several of them um, would have to be paid for so i'm not going to download this one if you have used all free images, you wouldn't have that pop up. Uh, most of the images, as a matter of fact, all of the images that I've ever created in Canva, I've either used the free images that they have or I've uploaded images that I own or have created myself to use. And I've never really had to pay for much of anything except I tried early on when Canva first launched and got a couple things. But it's certainly not necessary for you to do that. There are so many ways you can use this for free and never really have to pay for anything at all. But you can download that in several different formats. You can also use the share button. And you can either share it with somebody with an email address. You can share it uh, through Twitter or Facebook if you have those accounts. You can also just get a link, which is great uh, because if you have like a WordPress site, uh, if you're in the LME courses at WKU, you may be embedding this onto your WordPress site and you can just use that link or if you're embedding it somewhere else they do offer an embed code uh, that you can do but again you have to make designs public um, for the other people to be able to see them that's simply the click of a mouse and now you have your HTML embed code or they do provide you a nice link uh, to use in WordPress or if you're a medium blogger you can simply use that link and paste it into your WordPress or medium blog so Canva is a fantastic tool with lots of options for lots of different designs. I hope you take a look at it. I hope you use it to create your infographic. I think you'll be very pleased with the results, with the flexibility and the power you have with this tool. And it is certainly making graphic design much easier for the average person, where you don't have to do hours of Photoshop tutorials or learn the inner workings of uh, things like Microsoft Word or Publisher um, or uh, Google Slides or even Apple's pages or keynote or any other type of graphic design software Canva is very easy to use um, very low learning curve and for the most part it's completely 100 percent free if you so choose it to be you can pay for some things and perhaps in further videos we'll cover some of those nice premium features you might get uh, if you decide to upgrade hope this video training has helped you and we will help you create a wonderful infographic and that you will try Canva out for some of your other projects. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.